This is a tale of then and now, once a lonesome highway in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. We travel to Boca Chica Beach. There wasn't anyone there to go see SpaceX because SpaceX was not there. This is one of the coolest places to go in South Texas. This is where the Rio Grande River flows into the Gulf of Mexico. And just across there is Mexico and people over in Mexico having a picnic on the beach, just like those of us on this side. But today, we're going to be talking about SpaceX, then and now. We were just down there. So in 2024, this is what SpaceX looks like. It is a thriving, growing place known as Starbase. This sign reads, Welcome to Starbase. You will never find a more excellent hive of space flight activity. Information for your intergalactic voyage. Do not stray from public roads. Trespassers run the risk of meeting the mysterious Chupacabra which is known to roam these parts and eat its victims. Also trespassing is a violation of Texas Penal Code. No droids or drones are allowed, like all respectable spaceports. Starbase does not serve droids. Drones are also strictly prohibited by FAA temporary flight restriction. Starbase does not offer tours to the general public. Your best bet is to come work for us and then you can be here all the time. There is no gift shop at Starbase. There are food trucks but those are for the employees. And speaking of employees, we had a friend who used to work there and he was going to be able to give us a tour, but since 2020, the tours were stopped and it looks like they have continued that policy. Our friend has now gone to go work at Blue Origin. We will just have to go meet him out there and see what they've got going out in West Texas. You can see rockets and tons of construction and these beautiful new buildings that are going up. And of course, this is the gateway to Mars. And here's the Star Hopper. And the Star Hopper is now behind a fence. And a lot of this stuff is behind fencing. And this is where the property of SpaceX ends and the entrance to Boca Chica Beach begins. All of this is on the Rio Grande Valley Civil War Trail. How many of you knew that the Civil War had a battle in this part of Texas? Have you watched the public phone video? Do you see this public phone? It's right there between Starbase and the beach. I want you to pay close attention to this house and this rocket behind it. And these are just scenes from the roadway. And many times when you go there, there are campers and cars from all over the United States parked all along the side of the road to see this gateway to Mars. We missed it only by a few days, but on Thursday, March 14th, SpaceX had launched Starship for the third time from its Starbase Manufacturing and Launch Facility near Boca Chica Beach in South Texas. Hundreds of rocket chasers and spectators gathered along the beach to watch the test flight, which saw Starship separate successfully from its super heavy booster and reach orbital velocity. SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket, the world's largest and most powerful rocket reached orbital speed for the first time Thursday in historic third test flight from South Texas. Wait until you see the then and now pictures. You will not believe it. Have you subscribed yet? If you have, I thank you. And if you haven't, can you please do that? And if you're one of my Facebook friends, please subscribe. I really need you to subscribe. I've got a lot of Facebook friends that aren't subscribers, so please, if you're watching these videos from Facebook, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now let's look at some scenes from 2021. This place is so photogenic at sunset and at sunrise. We have seen it at both times. But you can see how things look different here. Do you see the star hopper? You see the rocket? It all looks different. There aren't all the tanks. And speaking of launches, we went two days in a row trying to watch one of the launches and it kept getting postponed. And we kept calling our friend going, are they going to do it? He goes, yeah. And then it would, went back and forth for hours and hours. We packed a lunch, everything. You have to go out on a different highway that's parallel to the highway where SpaceX is located because the highway is closed down right near the Border Patrol station. No matter what you think of Elon or his starships, it is quite an interesting place to see. The economic, environmental, and social impact on tiny Boca Chica has resulted in a quiet, secluded place becoming a hub of operations with over 500 employees, I bet it's even more by now, and gobs of tourists hovering to see the starships. It's almost unbelievable how close you can get to the rocket ships. Then we go back to 2020. Look at this. There's just a few satellite dishes, a guardhouse, a trailer with SpaceX on it, a rocket, and then this triangular shaped building, which I don't even see that triangular shaped building anymore. I don't know what's happened to it. It's gotten covered up with something. And this is a view from in 2020 of where that gateway to Mars SpaceX sign is. There's no sign, barely any fencing, and then you can see the star hopper. But there has been construction going on almost on a constant basis. And look, 
you could drive right by the Starhopper. Isn't that just wild? Look at this thing. We got some pretty good pictures, don't you think? And this is where the Starship launch pad would eventually be built. And of course, the landing pad. And of course, the Starship Super Heavy orbital launch pad. This was all just a dream at this point. And now, there they are, as we've seen in previous pictures. Just look down the highway. Look how different it looks. Please subscribe. This is the Stargate building, which I tried to get a picture of the Stargate building. And right in front where all this grass is, it's now all parking. And it was solid employee parking. And the lady at the gate, she was kind of fussing at me because we were parked in a no parking zone. And she chased us off. So I wasn't able to get a picture of that building. But it's almost surrounded by other things now. And here is security. Do you remember me showing you that house? Well, look how well you can see it in this picture. The security guard, he's the same one that we had talked to back in 2017. I wonder if he still works there. Now, speaking of 2017, this was all that we found out there. Were these satellite dishes and some crates? Lots of crates. And this very serious fence to keep people out. And just some signs that said SpaceX. See that car? That was the same security guard. SpaceX launch site. It actually came to fruition. Private property, no trespassing. I really wish I could have gotten a picture of that Stargate building. Follow me to fun and exciting and unbelievable places. Some are kind of quirky. Some are interesting. Some are historical. But it's a variety from anything from coffee to crocodiles. And here's a little reflection then and now. Starhopper, then, now. That home, then and now. The launch pad area, then and now. The Stargate building, then and now. The rocket in that triangular building? Don't even know where it is. They're building this gigantic structure now. The security guard? Then? Now. This beautiful star base sign. It's really cool looking, isn't it? It's lit up at night and they've got these bicycles and it's just a great photo shoot spot. The Rio Grande Valley Civil War Trail. Look how barren it is. Then and now. Behind it is all of Starbase. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Tell a friend about my channel and you are welcome to share my videos on any of your social media. Thank you.